For our hike to Grinnell Glacier in Glacier National Park, we are starting at the boat launch in front of the Mini Glacier Hotel. The hotel is located on the east side of Glacier National Park in the Mini Glacier area on the shore of Swift Current Lake. By taking the boat across Swift Current Lake, as well as Lake Josephine, we were able to cut about two miles off the hike in each direction. This means our hike was about six miles instead of being over 10 miles. Besides, the boat ride sounded like a lot of fun and it provides some unique views looking back at the Mini Glacier Hotel. There's a short hike between Swift Current Lake and Lake Josephine to catch the second boat. If you are interested in using the boat as part of your hike, I would highly recommend getting your tickets ahead of time. You can purchase tickets the day of, but there is no guarantee there will be any available. If you don't want to take the boat, it is possible to start your hike from the Mini Glacier Hotel, or there is also a parking lot between the hotel and the Swift Current Motor Inn that is also a popular starting point. The hike along the lakes is nice, so if you want to have a longer hike, this is a great option. When we landed at the end of the lake, there was an injured cow moose. I can only speculate, but she may have had a run in with the grizzly bear as they are common in this area. So be sure to bring your bear spray along. From the boat dock on the end of Lake Josephine, you can hike to either Grinnell Glacier or take the easier hike to Grinnell Lake. While the hike to Grinnell Glacier is not quite as long as some of the other hikes in the park, such as Iceberg Lake, it does have a more significant elevation gain. If you are interested in hiking to Iceberg Lake, you may want to check out my video from that hike. I will put a link in the description below. The hike starts by crossing over a bridge and then traveling over some boardwalks on the marshy end of the lake. There is then a steep ascent up the side of the mountain until you eventually join the trail coming from the shores of the lake. From there, there is a great view of Lake Josephine below you. Eventually as you climb you will see Grinnell Lake in the valley below you. As you continue to climb higher, Grinnell Lake will stay below you until you are so high above it you are almost looking straight down onto the lake. As we were hiking, we were eventually stopped by a bighorn sheep jam. There were several bighorn rams directly on the trail licking salts off of the cliffs. I didn't mind the delay as it was awesome to watch the rams for a while. Eventually they did move off the trail and we were able to proceed.
Before the last climb up to the glacier and upper Grinnell Lake, there are some primitive pit toilets if you need to stop. We were also greeted by a young bighorn sheep in this area. As you make your way to the top, eventually you reach a point where you can see Upper Grinnell Lake, Grinnell Glacier, the Salamander Glacier, and Gem Glacier. If you turn around, you can see Grinnell Lake, Lake Josephine, and Lake Sherburn in the distance. Unfortunately, Swift Current Lake is tucked behind the mountain, so you can't quite see it. The landscape around the glacier is pretty unique. Since the glacier is still actively retreating, it is left behind a barren landscape of ground down rock. Since the glacier has become pretty unstable, they do not recommend that you hike out on it anymore. Although we did see a few brave souls that did go out on the glacier. The lake reminds me a lot of Iceberg Lake with the floating chunks of ice and the imposing cliffs around it. There's also a pretty awesome waterfall that flows from the Salamander Glacier down into Upper Grinnell Lake. While we were resting and enjoying a snack, we were visited by a couple of ground squirrels. Eventually, it was time to start to hike back. On the way back, I did spot a young bull moose waiting in Grinnell Lake below me. It was a pretty awesome sight to see. I was also hoping to find some pika, as they have been on my list to photograph for a long time. We did eventually find some, but I was never able to get a picture of them. Maybe next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. You may also want to check out the description below for more information about hiking in Glacier National Park.